So, uh, this is a section of the Jesus for the sword, Well, 
time they're not. So when you say, in Jesus' name, understand what you're saying. You say, what you really say is, if you did what Jesus did, you said what you think. It's not your salvation. What you're asking for is, let this be done to me or to me. If it moves along the plan of salvation for the most part. So obviously, you winning the lottery is not moving the plan of salvation along for somebody. Otherwise, one of you would have won by now. Or, or, you can even say, you know, that what you're fighting for is that it's really not going to be chaotic. And you can say this is something that might actually destroy your faith. You know, you know all of that story from her about the teaching of God, right? The God of the life that moves from the teaching of God. Right? It's like the teaching of two sides and all kinds of things. So, in that particular case, you know, we can see that thing. We can see how not giving that desire can actually benefit us from getting it. We can see that because it's a great example of the fear of God from the people who are ruining their lives to free. But you know, you know, people people will say, well, uh, you know, human beings are too deep. You know, and then of course they might kill them or bring them to the But that's it. How how is it not getting through this to me? How is that actually helping the plan of salvation for somebody? And my answer is usually, I don't know. I, I can't I can't connect those dots. You know, I I'm not okay. All I can tell you is that's the fact. That's the fact. And, and you have to say that about anything. You know, if somebody that comes to me, you know, and say, I pray every night for my kids to be okay, and I don't know what's happening, and I don't know if I'm having any fun time, and I don't know if I'm having trouble with my baby, and I want my kids to be able to look bad, and I just say, wow, what's this baby? Why don't this baby? And so I might as well, you know, why do you wait for two hours? And I'm praying for these kids. Unbeknownst to them, I got out, I spent the day praying or whatever outside, and he wandered and he was coming to a completely different guy. And so, you know, this mother said to me, pray and pray and pray and pray and pray every day, pray and 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 that's what you say. And you have some right. And as far as you know, you know, how is that part of it? You know, you know, how is that church? How is that church? You know, can you finish school? You know, what's the greatest thing about your class? Or the worst of class ever? What's the greatest thing in your life? And as far as you know, he's in heaven. And so, he's very thankful. But he is there. He says, no, no. He takes what he says. That's not what I meant when I asked the question. You know, that's you know, be careful what you ask for, you might just get it. You know, be careful what you ask for. You know, and I just I and I've had that happen. You know, how many times have you been in ministry where there's children and parents? Pregnant and sisters, or you know, the spouses, or, or whatever. And, I, and I've seen the same answer, right? And the guy was asked for it, he just didn't get it the way he wanted it. And he wanted that kid to be a boy, to be the young man in the world. He wanted that kid, right? And he had a kid in heaven at four, he said, you know, you're right. You know? The goal is still the same. The goal is the truth. 
All right, praise the Lord. Hold the key. This is what we're going to keep the way I didn't expect you to go on the service because I was expecting you to go, oh, well, okay, never mind. No, I expected this to come out the door. So I expect that. 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 I expect in your German verse, it's sometimes translated as father. Here it means uh, sister. So, what would have to be an inner meaning in some translations that we don't call it father? We don't even have to be in the bedroom. We don't have to be away from the people. That would be a piece of faith in your life. You're going to have a piece of faith in the middle of the bed. You're going to have a piece of faith in the middle of the country. You just make your own piece of faith. In other words, it's just too tough. That's the secret place. Yeah, you pray it here, yeah. Jesus had a secret place where he went to talk to his house. He went away by himself. He usually went up to the hill and talked to the whole mountain. That's where he went to the It's important that we find a quiet place so that we can distract him. And of course, this is the problem to the place of speaking to us. The stalkings are the theme of I don't know about you, but I find it very hard uh, to uh, do prayers and uh, to stop them. So I have my prayer list for the rest of my life. If I go to me, then you have to give me the kind of things that you need to do. Right? Right? According to five and seven years. Okay. That's why I say my prayer list, I need to be up on my prayer list that I've set. Because I don't get to every time. I do it in the morning. I do it at the top of 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 the top I'm sorry if I don't get around to you because life is a short for the I don't get around to you. Okay. 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 You know, that brings up a whole issue that I don't know that I need to teach people. Yeah, I guess I do. Let me say that. I'll say that for the next time we talk about it. Because it's a very good point. I need to address that. Uh, <clears throat> we shut the door on the noise outside and shut ourselves in the shop. We don't have to put it close to our face because we can stop the truth. You know, it, again, it's in our society, you know, the fair home, if you will, is a gift. Okay, that's the fair home. But that's just my society. We do a lot of things in the world, and we're doing Christian practice, and we're just doing the same thing. Just by the way, it's true. That's it. So, so, the pose is not a pose. Okay, that's that thing. Um, Prayer is in a position of about some people pray better than they have to. Not better than they have to do, it's just a walk in the morning, and I think it's to do in the last prayer. So I'm walking, and I'm very comfortable. Um, let's go on and read a couple more verses. And we're going to stop at the word prayer because that's going to take the whole other section. Uh, verse 7, and when you are praying, you don't use meaningless repetition as the Gentiles do. Please note, the repetition is not in the key word. The key word is meaning. And we'll talk about what that means in the meaning. As the Gentiles do, so they suppose they've been heard for their many words. They do not be like them. So the body knows what you mean. You can look at that and that's what you mean. So 
So let's go to point eight there. Eight. In verse seven, Jesus teaches that we need to avoid repeating phrases or words because it tends to allow our hearts to be blinded. So, for example, the hearing is a good prayer. The Lord is the Lord of the Lord. The Lord has the Lord of the Lord. He said it three times in the church for the church. One of the reasons I understand it. If you look at the two of them, it's both true. So you can see the way it's not controlled in one direction. All you'll see is the Lord that works out the parts that work out the Lord that works 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 out the Lord So, um, we don't receive this point of view. Now, we might receive this point of view, I don't know, but we do have a special point of view. It's a big 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 point of view. That's a prayer of what we certainly request from you. And then, you know, the point of view, you know, people respond to it. And they say, well, we do have a prayer of what we can do. Now, again, that's a different thing. But just the words that Lord has worked out, if you said those 20 times over, we would probably, by the time we get to chapter 16, we would probably be sitting on top of the wall while we're sitting on the wall. Yes, sir. Many times, yes. Great. Uh, obviously, again, it's a lot of what you need to do to spend a lot of money. Uh, well, and their defense would be so strong. And the theory is not meaning to see them. But again, even a meaningful phrase, like Lord have mercy, can become meaningful by sheer repetition to the point that you can actually say the word and think of something else. Tell me, those of you, again, for a lifetime of them, okay, you could probably, if I asked you, you could probably stand up right now, and you could probably say the word. Okay. You could probably stand up right now without looking at the same as coming back down with you. So they would have to say, I can call it right, probably say this right now. Okay? Tell me now, in your liturgy, some time, open your mouth, give me the door and show us. You wouldn't be capable, I'm not saying you do, but you wouldn't be capable of feeling that and thinking about the proposal. You could, couldn't you? Of course you could. You can do the same with the 19 Creed or the Apostle's Creed, can't you? Sure you can. And of course, it was to the Lord's Creed, and you can do that too, can't you? Of course you can. So, and those aren't meaningless words. So if it's possible for your mind to wander, whether you're about to say the Lord's Prayer, or the Trinity, or the Trinity, or the Trinity, or the whatever, if it's possible for your mind to wander then, how much more would it be possible for your mind to wander in the future of your faith? So I remember that John and Matthew kind of go out to the Trinity, and John and Matthew kind of go out to the Trinity, and John and Matthew kind of go out to the Trinity, right? I mean, okay. So, these words would be the full brain of the They'd be known for human mind. You're going to repeat something, okay, but, you know, keep it to a, a limited amount. Because after a while, it's easy to... Yeah. Um, that wants our full attention when we converse with it. Too. Now, we don't need to use a certain tone or voice for prayer, nor we need to use formal and intricate statements. Do not need to say, Jesus and I, God. He is not going to be upset if you 
So you don't need to use this because you don't need to have to tell me public or when you say you're saying it out loud or when it's or when it's a normal person who thinks we're told in plain language, thinking out, thinking aloud, or in a slight way, helps us to keep our mind on the same. That's all we do. That is, you come in here to talk to me, and you hear me talking out of my office, and the phone sounds like you're forever, and you're just going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, I'm going to go, so all I'm talking about, I need to say it out loud. If I don't, I just don't. I can tell you how many nights. That's how I get to it. Most of the time. I don't necessarily say that right. I don't necessarily have to fix it. But usually, I start my character and I have to be back to the other side. But then I know it's mine. Oops, do it again. But it seems to work, it's better than good. So, I'm going to have to follow up and put you guys on the spot. Yeah. 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 But that's enough. Yeah, I've heard enough out of you. Yeah. Yeah, tell me when. Um. It also helps us verbalize our people. Sometimes people have to talk about it. It's a problem. And when you hear it, it's a kind of like, okay, when you hear it, it's a kind of like, okay, when you hear it, it's a kind of like, okay, when you hear it, it's a kind of like, okay, when you hear it, it's a kind of like, okay, when you hear it, it's a kind of like, okay, when you hear it, it's a kind that when we pray, we're coming into the presence of the Creator of the universe. So we should be conscious of His power to be in the presence of the Creator. It is a vital for each of us. Don't ask for things. If you think they're not going to be there, that's all. If you really think they're not going to be there, Yes. 
tell yourself, no matter how outlandish it may be, whether it's winning the lottery, whether it's just being so sexy or not winning the lottery, or whatever it is, how outlandish it is, you can ask it. You may say to yourself, well, the chances are that either it's just quite the bad for me, if that's something to do, or it's just so off the wall, crazy, it's just so almost impossible that I don't know. But I'm going to give it a shot. Okay, you have to say, you have to say, you have to say, you have to say, if you tell yourself there's no chance at all, then It goes back to your earlier question. It goes back to your earlier question, right? Sure. And that's a good that's a good cover, right? That's a good cover. That's a good cover. Okay. But at the same time, you can say, I don't know what we can take them, I don't know what I can take them. You know? And so, you know, and yeah, that's what I think. And, and we'll come to all the answers out there in just a second. Um, we think it's time to think that we call it a new name and think it's time. We can make our request to that old name. Don't be excited. If you want to be sure, say, say so. We are his beloved children. He delights to give it to us. It means the whole body of Hebrew uh, is a verb that means the existing one. Now, he comes whatever we need him to be. He exists in whatever way is good for our eternal One of the keys to Abraham's faith was that he believed that God could do what he promised to do. Again, you know, that's a good, that's a good example. Abraham is 100 years old. Firmly believing that that is still possible. He has all physical evidence. In other words, the physical evidence says absolutely nothing. In fact, the other one prays to be leaving that it was. Of course, in that case, I don't think it's true. We need to remind ourselves of two guys in the We may approach them with our request for the opportunity to take part. Let's stop now. Talk about this big question. So we pray and just uh, the Father knows what you need before we ask. If that is the case, goes the constant question. Why? First answer, right off. 
you want to do, this just wants you to be too tremendous. There's plenty of passages in the Bible for God and Jesus to be pointed at the pastor and say, pray. It's not a request. It's not a suggestion. It's not an idea. It's not an opinion. It's not an option. It is a command. So that's, that's always the first thing. The next answer is a little more complicated. Of course, God does not need to be important enough. God does who we're talking about if we don't take any steps to do. So, what do we say to me? I do so that I can make a step up and know that I have prayed about that person. Okay? God doesn't need check marks. I do. Okay, so I need to say the person can be that God doesn't need to be. I need to. I need to say that. Okay, okay, okay. Check, check, check. Okay. Um, and so they said, I do. I do my ledger. I've got the name of the problem, whatever it happens to be. Okay. And I've got Philip to tell us. You can do that. You can do that. You can do that. You can do that. And I know if, if I get to the Friday and somebody's got five foot marks, and I can skip over it and go down and be sort of a couple of weeks or months or something like that. So it, it's convenient for me to do it. Right? So, um, from that standpoint, I thought it's not God that needs something to do with it. The same thing goes for even like that. For the sake of the first step. It's not that God needs to hear what it is that you say. He knows. And He knows also what He's going to do ahead to say yes. It's again, you need to, you need to have said in your body that I have that request or that I I would trust a lot more to work to the way that I can do that. And you all know that I have shown you many times the thing that's great. Most of the time, Jesus teaches right? are true. And this can be a lot of people like this up here. And they have to be like this. They can just be able to say, right through the Bible and and bring forth the truth of it. The fourth one is forgive. Forgive. And the fourth is, is faith or act. Uh, so for them, they don't feel uncomfortable. And the fifth one then is the what if you do the if you do the right thing to God. It will be done. As long as you have a hand, as long as you got five fingers, you can always pray. So you remember that you have prayer first. You can always pray. As long as you know there's no place. Right? But notice that most of them are spiritual. And there is half of them is 
system. But the first thing that happens is that if we were to take that approach and divide them up, we would find that three fourths of our room has to do with the class. And then the one fourth has to do with the third thing that happens. That's the first one thing. Sure. Sure. That's the first one thing. Yeah. Okay. So, so let's go back to this point of view. Okay. So, yeah. I'm glad we did that. So, so the, the first reason the question is because you can't talk to somebody. The second reason you need to do it yourself. Okay. I pray about this. I do. This is bothering me. This, I, I, I think I need this. Or maybe I just want it, or maybe I think good reason. Okay? And so you can say to yourself, I handle this off to the Lord. I remember doing this. I did I spoke I spoke those words in my head, I spoke those words out loud. Okay? And so you can kind of set that off of your of your list, okay? And that way you can say, well, if it doesn't happen, it's because I didn't want it to happen. If you can say if it does happen, it's because God allowed it to happen to cause it to happen. And so the second thing you need to do is simply for your own benefit, for your own benefit, for your own ability to say, hey, I can say that God asked me to do it. I can say, oh, I'm doing it. And so the third reason is because it is deceptive. In other words, the Bible tells us that prayer does accomplish things. Okay? Again, we get into a little bit of a doubt, a little bit of fear, a bit of confidence. Does human prayer truly accomplish? On the one hand, you would have to say yes. Because God obviously has very much to be confident to be of all of us that we have, and we do not have to be very clear. What that means. So we know we're going to have that we have to do this. On the other hand, the Bible is very clear and teaches that prayer does affect the things that we have to do. So what do you think that means? Both of those things are true. They seem contradictory. So, that's the first reason you pray. The Bible tells us that the changes are not easy to accomplish every day. Yes, I can do this. And I can do all of all because that's what the Bible tells us. So, you are encouraged. Understanding that God has the power, the true prayer has the power to change. One of the things I have to talk to you this past week, last week, uh, is, and I make this comment, uh, this is a statement that you guys don't get. 
assistant you got can make anything that is as low as your life. And you can make anything that is not as low as your life. In other words, You can pray for something. Maybe something very good. Let, let, let's make it, let's make it really good. Let, let's make it very good. You look at the video and see if it's going to be a good thing. Lord, how great is this? It's all about that. It's all beyond all of them. And you don't think that's weird at all. You don't think that's strange at all. Do I think that's what I'm saying? I think that's what I'm saying. 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 That's right. That's right. You won't know. You won't know. Well, you'll have a you'll have a lesson coming up. Okay. But but still, yeah. And and that's 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 the way it is. That's the way it is. So on the one hand, yes.
Thank you.